Hello everyone on YouTube, this is Shadow TSI. So watching the PlayStation event last Friday was pretty incredible. Seeing those new games, which were absolutely beautiful, and seeing great examples of this new technology called ray tracing, which is going to be something that these developers are going to use very well. I was struck by the design of the console for the PS5. I mean, it did look radical. It was beautiful. I feel like it's going to fall and break. It, you know, if it falls, it's going to break off like pieces of it. That's just my opinion. I don't know. That's what it looks like. It also looks really big. I was super surprised to see the size of that. I was reading some articles today about the dashboard, um, and I was interested to hear what Matt McLaurin said. And he said that the dashboard was going to be more intuitive. I always thought that dashboard for PlayStation because again, I stepped away from games and completely missed a whole generation. So me just coming back to this is all brand new to me. But the PlayStation 3 dashboard seemed really good to me. I, I understood it immediately. The Xbox 360 dashboard, I understood, but only because I've been on it for years. When I came back to the Xbox One dashboard, I was confused. I was didn't understand where anything is and even now as I go through the settings I still can't find something things that I wanted to find with that being said Matt McLaurin said um, on the, you know to the verge that they intend to make it more intuitive however but they're not gonna leave any pixel untouched now and I'm not sure exactly what he means by that I have to think that perhaps the stuff that you need will be readily available where the stuff that you rarely use or rarely need will probably be buried in the settings. That's a good thing because what you want is quick access to things that you need and want to do. Um, so I, I feel like that's that's probably a good direction to go. Let's hope that uh, Sony is successful with that. Speaking of the PlayStation event, how hilarious. I feel like Rockstar trolled everybody. I mean, like, it's a pretty ultimate troll. I mean, here's a Rockstar logo. Oh, no. Oh, bully. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. GTA 5? Again? I mean, for a game to span three consoles, that was an interesting little thing to do. I have to think that their thought process is that this thing is literally making money. It is a still a top 10 selling game. What can they possibly do to keep that game fresh? I, I don't know, because there's so much added to GTA Online that, I, I mean, you know, like I, I stepped away. I was on GTA Online for the 360. I was there during the launch. I, w I was one of the guys that came in on the plane. I mean, maybe a lot of you new guys don't understand what that means, but when you came into GTA Online back in the day, you came in on a jet, you were met by somebody, and they told you, and I forgot who, them, who you were met by, but it's because it's so, so long ago, but they they basically gave you a tour of the city and how online works. Honestly, it was an interesting, um, it was very boring GTA 5 when it first came out. You had a few things to do, but now it is so loaded with things to do like there's so much content me coming away and then coming back five years later to everything that's available i'm completely overwhelmed there's so much content that there's no way that i'm probably i'm probably not going to play every piece of content that's available on gta online so what can they possibly add the only thing that i can think that they can add is maybe another piece of the map uh another island um I mean, they've done the businesses over and over again. You know, the other question is, is will you be able to transfer your character? Nobody really knows about that. So a lot of stuff coming with that. I also, in my opinion, I almost feel as if GTA, GTA Online, because they're releasing a standalone, may go subscription based. I don't know that I'm going to pay GTA or Rockstar money every month to play on their map. I, I just don't think that I'm going to do that. It will have to be very, it have to be worth it for me. Um, you know, I offering me some money or something like in-game money for me to join a subscription. I, I don't think that's going to happen, but for me, I'm not going to do that. 
and I think a lot of gamers are not going to do that either. I mean, tell, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If it went subscription based, would you still play GTA Online and pay Rockstar? I'd love to hear what you think about that. In other console news, KFC and is announcing a console of their own. <laughs> I love how they they got in the mix with that. I, I just thought it was great. The the console, I'll leave a link of what it looks like. Um, I actually, I could probably show you right here on the video. Um, <laughs> it's hilarious. But they are doing something in November. Um, I think they're going to have fun with the whole console war thing, which I think is interesting. Um, but they are releasing something of a console, but I'm sure it's just tongue-in-cheek and not really a console. So, on to Call of Duty Warzone. Is it possible that there's going to be some new maps coming in? Um, some people are thinking that's what it is. I was reading an article earlier today that there is some easter eggs in the game that are saying that a new map may be coming out for warzone that would be great for some players i mean these maps are huge i mean Warzone. i mean there this is this is just them getting on the whole you know battle royale sort of thing that everybody kind of is doing but call of duty warzone get a new map i mean that's 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 quite an undertaking there's also seems to be a new exploit that allows you to carry three weapons there's a guy who found out, I think it's the same as Silent Ninja, came across an exploit that allows you to equip your Wyatt Shield and then head over to a loot drop or, or sorry, yeah, loot drop or a weapons drop. You need a vehicle to be to do this. And apparently the ATV is the easiest way to do this. You park next to the loot drop, be in the passenger side, and then you know you have to park it in such a way where you can pick up the weapon at the same time and then you'll pick the weapon up and allow that'll allow you to have three main weapons so that's an exploit that'll probably be fixed pretty freaking quick games that will be coming out uh, oh yes, and also EA Play is this week. Um, I'm not sure if you know it's it's going to be an event just like Sony's event, but EA Play will be this Thursday. I think I saw. Uh, let me take a look. There, real quick. I'll tell you exact time. Just give me a sec here. Just pull it up. June 18th at 4 o'clock Pacific time. So definitely tune in for that because I'm sure there'll be a lot of games coming out and interesting information with the new consoles coming out. This week's games coming out, uh, we got Desperados 3, Disintegration, and Last of Us Part 2 is coming out this week. And that's a PS4 exclusive. So that's going to be very cool because The Last of Us was a an amazing story. Um, pl I played The Last of Us and was completely moved by the story. It really was an amazing thing. If you haven't played The Last of Us, do that now and then get into The Last of Us 2. It's, it's highly anticipated and I expect that to be something of amazement. That's all I have for today. I'm going to try to do this every day with new information of what's going on. Uh, certainly... I'll be putting something up after EA Play, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, I'm really glad to be back into video games. I forgot how much I love it. And I hope to see you guys in tomorrow. If you like my content, please you know, hit that like button down there. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, and certainly, uh, I love to hear comments. Uh, let me know what you think, how I'm doing, what you would like to hear. But again, thank you all for watching and have a great day.